This is gonna be fun. I'll tell you what, it's gonna be a lot of fun. everybody I want to say welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hopefully guys are doing absolutely fabulous. Check me out. I'm wearing one of our new LNP camo hoodies. New camo edition. Go grab it. It's on the site. It's going to be the first featured product that you see is going to be the camo hoodie. These things are soft. They're comfortable. It's more of that fashionable everyday style camo clothing. It's not just like that super leafy in your face. I can't see the middle portion of the guy type of camo. You know what I'm talking about when people always crack the jokes on you. We've got the camo themed hats. They're not camo camo, but I think these are a little bit more tasteful. Like when you're wearing them around public, I feel like this breaks it up a little bit so you're not wearing like literally the same type of camo hat and hoodie. I feel like this hat goes better with this and it makes it look more like an outfit versus like you're going hunting out in the woods. Maybe that's just me, maybe that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, so we're in the shop here with the second gen Longhorn. I'm gonna be pulling this truck out actually because we're gonna be pulling the big blue in here and we're gonna be slapping some monsters on that truck. I think you guys are gonna really like this video. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. By the way, if you wanna enter to win this truck, last three days and then this giveaway is gone. Gen. That's why we call it Big Blue. It's blue, it's a fourth gen, and it's pretty big. This truck may be Big Blue right now, but it's about to look a whole lot bigger, and I'm gonna tell you why. We today are going to be putting, you guessed it, we're gonna be putting the 24 by 14s on this truck. In terms of height, they're hardly any taller. Um, the only reason why these ones look shorter is because obviously there's thousands of pounds on it right now. But they're both 35s. That's a 35, that's a 35. The difference is this is a, I believe, 1550 wide. And that's probably a 1250 wide. So <laughs> it's gonna be wider. It might rub a little bit, I'm not sure. I know that right now with these 20 by 12s, so 12 wide in a 35 by 1250, it doesn't rub. It just clears because they cut a little bit of the plastic fender out, not the metal, just the plastic, so that it doesn't rub at all. Now, this setup might not clear on this truck. In fact, I almost guarantee that once you get within about a half turn of a full lock, it's probably going to catch. I'm just gonna call that now because we put on plenty of wheel and tire setups and I know that's usually how it goes once, I mean, whatever clears on your truck, at the most, you're not gonna be able to do much more on that and then it's gonna be catching. So um, that's just, I mean, obviously common sense, but yeah, so we're gonna get to putting these on the truck. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them on the truck at this height or what, because I know I wanna keep them on the truck. I just don't know what route I wanna go. I might lift the truck or I might not. It depends on how they clear. If they don't clear very well and the truck's going up in the air like six inches, so we can fully clear with hitting bumps and turns and all that stuff and you don't have to worry about it rubbing. If they clear pretty darn good to where it's almost a fully usable setup other than right at a lock, maybe a little bit before lock, but in most daily driving situations, it clears totally fine. I might just leave it like that and you know spare the $2,000 between the suspension and installation, maybe even more than that. I might just uh, keep the money in my pocket, so to speak, run it like that because you know, it's not like I have to take this truck through drive throughs and everything else and whatever. I mean, if I'm just daily driving it, it'll be totally fine. I mean, honestly, right now we hardly drive the truck. I drive it once in a while, but for the most part, it just kind of sits here. So might as well look good, right? But anyway, so we're gonna get to installing these on the truck and hopefully they turn out and look just as good as I hope they do. Oh man, for a second there, fam, I thought we were screwed, I'm like, we don't have our tool. Um, luckily, I had a spare one, so I was able to grab that to get these wheels off. Anyways, on with the time lapse. We 
got one side of the 24 by 14s on the truck with the 35s one sides on. And I actually think this is gonna be a pretty manageable daily driver setup. So if you look at this side, let me show you the stance. A little over 50% tire poke. You can see if you look flush with the body line, which is right there. That's about 50%, actually, that's about 50% tire poke. I have big hands. And it's a lot of tires sticking out. But uh, then you come over to this side, and then you've got the 12 by sticking out just a little bit. Right there. I mean, they look good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not dissing the 12s. 12 wides 12 look really good on most any application, but uh, the, the 14s just look a little bit better on the new trucks. Right now, get that done, and then I'll get back to you guys with a full reveal, and then we might even drive it to see how it clears these wheels and tires. Everybody, it's done, so here you go. stinking smokes does this thing look freaking massive oh my gosh it doesn't even have a lift on it other than the two and a half inch up front it just looks so freaking big with these wheels and tires oh my goodness I don't know how much just as it does but it didn't change the height at all all it changed was the stance and of course the stance just makes the truck look bigger and beefier even if it's not actually taller but man it just looks so good so we're actually gonna open up the garage door here and we're gonna be taking this truck over I got to pick up a trailer we're gonna go pick up a trailer we're gonna get the truck back. Um, we gotta do a little bit of other work and stuff today. But yeah, we're gonna go and get on the road and see if this thing uh, is a daily drivable setup on this truck. Well, we have officially figured out that the truck gets one full rotation before it rubs. So just like this sharp turn I just took, and that was into the nearest lane, it's a daily drivable setup unless you're doing like lots of super tight turns and corners, even at a roundabout. It's almost like I'm doing, you know, obviously well, a full circle, and we have a pretty tight roundabout by our house, and obviously it, it didn't touch because I only needed like a, I don't know, more than a half turn, but not quite a three quarter turn, but, but close. So honestly, this, this, uh, I mean, just like a turn like this too. I mean, this thing turns really well, and with the 14 wides, it's really not that big of a deal on this two and a half inch leveling kit. Like it clears pretty darn good. The driveway, I had it in the gravel, and I got it out of the off the concrete and into the gravel, so it was a little bit easier on the truck when I was doing the full turn. And I did one, not a full turn, my bad. I did a full rotation, you know, being right side up to right side up again before it just started to touch the plastic on the bumper, not the inner fender, the plastic on the bumper like out in front. Um, so I might even be able to, like if I wanted to, I might just leave it, but if I wanted to, I could probably trim the balance a little bit and get more like a turn and a half out of it, um, or so, probably more like a turn and a half before it would actually like rub again, which would give it a little bit more drivability, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it drives fine the way that it is. I mean, it does roundabouts and close quartering turns and stuff like that just fine. As long as you're not doing UEs, I mean, it runs and drives and steers really good. Here's the mission right now. Let's see, like this is like a, how much of a turn is that? That's at least a half turn. Um, and obviously there's still a huge gap. It doesn't look that big from this angle, but you can get a full turn and it still won't, it'll still have like this much from catching the fender on a full turn. Um, but anyway, so we gotta load this truck up with this trailer. We gotta unload all this hay off of here, feed our horses and get the rest of it just stored off. And then I gotta take this trailer because Reagan and I are moving. And I know I had mentioned in probably two months ago, I had mentioned in a video, you know, that Reagan and I were in the process of buying like this 90 acre farm and all this other stuff, which was, which was the goal. We were gonna do that. And we were just in the process of like deciding for sure, you know, cause we had written up a contract and we're trying to decide and we're like, hmm, do we do this right now or do we invest our money and go smaller right now? And it took us about 
10 minutes to decide after the fact, you know, after the big hype of like, oh my gosh, we could buy this to like, but is it the smartest thing to do right now? So we reevaluated our decision and we decided to go with something that's more practical means for what we need to do and more practical, just like all around for now. And we're gonna save the dream property and dream farm for probably another year or two, or just, you know, whenever the timing is right. And then in the meantime, we're gonna be basically investing all of our money into rental properties and real estate. That's that's our goal, that's what we wanna do. We wanna have passive income before buying something like that. So yeah, that's the mission. So when you guys see the new place, um, if you remember me talking about that a way long time ago, you're probably gonna be thinking like, I thought you said it was this big property and all that stuff, which it was, but plans change and we're actually gonna be staying local just a little bit longer and trying to play it smart and do our due diligence in preparing for our future, you know, to come before just our current wants and desires, if that makes sense. So long-term thinking versus short-term thinking, we had to reevaluate and make a smarter decision. So that's what we're doing. But something that's cool is we should be building, essentially, I'm gonna make a series called, you know, building my dream shop slash, you know, you know, turning an old horse barn into my dream shop or whatever. I don't know how I'm gonna title it, but there's essentially this old horse barn on the property and it's not old, it's, I mean, it's newer. It's, I mean, not newer, it's built like 25 years ago. It's more similar to like this style than like obviously old, old, old barn, like old barn wood style. What I'm gonna be doing half of it, actually the whole thing is set up for horses, but I'm gonna be taking half of it and transforming half of the barn into a shop. I'm gonna be doing full insulation, flooring, I mean just every, the whole, the work. So it's gotta be a fully functioning shop for me, you know, and then it's gotta have half of it that's set up for the wife's horses and her stuff and her passion. It'll be a fun journey, it'll be a lot of content, and it's gonna be like one of the first things I do when I get my hands on this property because I need a workshop, and like it'll be a lot more space than we have now when it's done and I'm super excited for that. I think you guys will really, really love that series that we produce because it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, look how wide this thing is. Holy crap. Jeff, you guys wanna enter to win that truck. You guys are down to literally, I think there's only 48 hours left. We're very, very close to that. 48 hours left to enter to win that truck. And every $5 is now 10 entries to win that truck plus $5,000. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. That's gonna put a wrap on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you could leave a fat thumbs up, that would be highly appreciated. And if you could subscribe as well, I know there's gonna be a lot of people watching that are new and have not subscribed. Click the red subscribe button, turn it gray if you wanna see the new builds, the new progress, and all the new stuff we have coming to the channel. Don't forget to enter to win that red truck. Every $5 is 10 entries, and that giveaway is ending rapidly. If you wanna get entered, lmpgear.com information in the description below. Go to the website, select an item or multiple items. All items count. Check out and you're automatically entered to win. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.